Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you can call me Val. And today we are going to be reviewing and comparing the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation with the CC Plus. When this came out, I was truly intrigued as to what the difference was between this and the CC. So we're gonna go on It Cosmetics website and kind of compare the two. If you have not yet subscribed, Hello again and welcome. Feel free to do so before you go and click that little bell to be notified when I post. And let's go ahead and get started. The Bye Bye Foundation is a full coverage moisturizer with SPF 50 plus and physical sunscreens. It's supposed to feel like you're wearing nothing and has a natural satin finish, delivers intense hydration, improves the look of skin treating redness, pores, breakouts, dark spots, lines, and wrinkles. And seven key fermented ingredients increase absorption and effectiveness of the product. The Bye Bye Foundation retails for $39.50 and it comes with one fluid ounce compared to the CC Plus in full size, of course. It has 1.08 fluid ounce, so has a little bit more, and it is $38, so it's a little bit less expensive. In the key benefits of this one, it says it delivers seven products all in one. Full coverage foundation, SPF 50 plus, brightening color corrector, hydrating anti-aging serum, poreless finishing primer, dark spot corrector, and moisturizing day cream. The CC Plus comes in seven shades versus the Bye Bye that comes in 12. So they extended their shade range. Definitely a plus versus the CC Plus. I got the shades light in both of them and they do vary a little bit. The Bye Bye foundation is a little bit lighter and the CC Plus is a tad bit darker even though they are the same shade. Both of these apply better either with your hands or with a brush. I'm a big fan of sponges because I have dry skin, but it just does not work for this product. I don't know if it's because they're both so creamy, but it just shears it out too much. Both of these products work best without a primer. I did use them with a hydrating primer and I did not notice a big difference in terms of wear. And I used them with a silicone based primer and they both broke up in a very weird way around the nose. Both of these are very similar in coverage, but I did see a little more from the Bye Bye foundation and it was also more buildable. It does have a stronger scent than the CC, but it does dissipate. It goes away once you blend it all out. Even though you can build this up, I would just suggest to use a concealer along with it instead of trying to achieve that completely full cover look with it. There's also a slight difference in finish. The Bye Bye definitely looked more luminous than the CC side. I will say I do experience some tingling with both of these products, but definitely stronger from the Bye Bye Foundation. The way I can compare it is, you know, when you apply a lip plumping gloss, it's kind of like, it's not a burning, but kind of. It does go away, it doesn't linger on the skin, but that is something to keep in mind. I have dry and sensitive skin, and I had no issues with the tingling whatsoever. So what is the real difference with this? I'm wearing both right now, and as you can see, other than the fact that I do see some slight diminishing on my pores, it is so similar in every type of way, except for the ingredients. The base of these is exactly the same up until lime oil. So they're listed in the exact same order. The base is the same. You also have a higher amount of certain ingredients in the Bye Bye Foundation versus the CC. For example, the Bye Bye has more hyaluronic acid than the CC because it's listed higher on the list, which is great if you have dry, sensitive skin. It just locks in the moisture. It also has niacinamide listed higher on the list, which is just vitamin B3. That's what's going to improve the look of the skin reduce the appearance of pores. So the list of ingredients for the Bye Bye Foundation you can see is visibly longer than the CC because it has those fermented ingredients. These are rich in antioxidants, they reduce redness, they're great for people with sensitive skin. Now this is kind of controversial because some people believe that fermented ingredients are not as effective when applied topically versus ingested. There's something in the way that we metabolize everything when we ingest it that just seems to be more beneficial versus applied topically, but who's to say that it just doesn't work? This is gonna be something that you're gonna have to test out and see if it actually works to improve your skin. So, which one should you get and do you need one versus the other? I don't think that you need the Bye Bye Foundation if you have the CC Plus. Again, it just looks very similar, but I do prefer the Bye Bye Foundation. And I think it's worth giving it a shot because it has the same ingredients as the CC except for two and colloidal oatmeal is something that's already in my moisturizer so I'm not really missing out on much. 
and it's interesting to give those fermented ingredients a shot to see if they actually improve my skin with continuous use. That's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe if you have not already. I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.